Good evening, everybody. This is Encounters, the late night UFO spiritual talk show. I'm Commander Elian. And again, we have some apple cider. You're probably saying, where is the commander at 11 p.m. Eastern? It's a little bit after 11.30, 11.42. And we're glad to be here with you. So I've decided I'm going to pick myself up an AM radio. One that I can plug in here with an antenna on the radio. So we're live Friday night. So what I'm going to do is get an AM radio and synchronize it to the same frequency when John Connors and I do this tomorrow night. Same frequency. And I want to see if we can... Uh, have that same thing happening where Gattaca will come through as he does through the M frequency with John Connors on the radio equipment he's using and then the M radio that I would be using here. So we're going to experiment a little bit. Hey, Nordia. Welcome, everybody. Marinay, everybody. Chesno, MK, Shep. Hey, uh, Hawk, uh, Lisa, uh, Liz with Spirit and Grace. So I was listening to some of the recordings we've done with Gattaca that I've saved that are on my Ashtar spaceship thing, two-minute recordings, where he's coming very strong. And I'm really hoping that, uh, hey, Julia, we're, uh, you know, just uh, that he will actually be, thank you for the hand heart, Chesno. I'm hoping that he will come in strong in the coordinates of where his ship is I'm hoping tomorrow night he will come in. Hey, Courtney, that he will come in. Hey, Goddess Sophia, <clears throat> that he will come in. Uh, one Toyota, good to see you. I uh, hope he will come in strong. Tom Glenn. And when I was listening to the recordings from the, the two of the recordings uh, that I had posted on the Ashtar Command Spaceship News, he came in very strong on the recording. So I'm really psyched for tonight, tomorrow night, specifically Friday night. I'm very excited. Last night, the show we did last night's on my YouTube channel. We did a little teaser last night. I was saying oh, we're going to have a little teaser and we'll have got co. Uh, thank you, Liz with spirit that we have got co uh, try to come through and John was doing all sorts of amazing things with the radio frequencies, and we finally got him. We had to find out what frequency he was on, and he communicated. So we did a little bit. I fell asleep last night. Ah, no, you know, I kind of figured you fell asleep. That's cool. You know, sometimes we do that. We have to do that. Our body says we have to rest. Sola, thank you for the likes. Redman6565. So, hey, you know, so the one thing, that I'm really going to experiment with is getting an AM radio. They're cheap. You can get a, an AM radio in you know, a store relatively cheaply. So as I now understand frequency from an intergalactic understanding of frequency, hey, Michelle, hey, Cheryl, frequency is really an important thing. You know, our satellites that we have broadcasting into space are picking up frequencies all the time. And it's not just satellites, the, the SETI program, all these other things that are being done around the planet with big, big telescopes, big satellites. So as we learn more about frequency, hey, Joe, and everybody coming in here, we learn very weather. Good to see you. Uh, Living Water Shield, I think it's KB620, Colleen Andrew, Andes. I saw some strange things tonight. Ah, Bonnie Blue Blue Eyes Girl. Um, hey, Bonnie, we're going to bring you on in a few minutes. I want to hear your story of what you were seeing. Uh, thank you for the confetti, goddess. We appreciate all the gifts from everybody. So as we facilitate communications, and we have, we learn every moment, every day, 
with everything going on. Kill Kelsey, good to see you. Thanks for sharing the program. That when Gattaco speaks, and he does, he speaks for the planet that he comes from in the uh, in the Cirrus star system, and, you know, he speaks for his people from his own planetary system. And uh, I kept thinking, boy, if only, I say every once in a while I think, only if people like Ancient Aliens, the TV show, and those folks knew that we were doing this, only if they knew. I kept thinking, I should contact the Ancient Aliens, the program, and tell them what's going on. You know, wondering if they would get the message, some of the people that are on that show. And would they be really seriously interested in something that's really happening? You know, I wonder. So I'm still pondering that thought, pondering the thought of contacting them. I think I'm going to try to contact them. That's I was just meditating earlier today about that. And I think I will. I'll let them know we're doing this. I'll let them know ancient aliens, the people on that show, the key people that we're having contact here through radio frequency and that it's happening. Cinnamon Bun, good to see you. So I think uh, Heart Mom, good to see you as well. Bruce McKay, Savvy. Is tomorrow night still on? Yes. Uh, tomorrow night is going to be as on as it's going to be. If there's not a you know, it's you know, if everybody that saw the video, and please share the video on my main page. If everybody sees the video that I posted uh, earlier in the week about tomorrow night, please share it. You have my cosmic blessings on this show to share it. Let people know we're going to be doing this. That we're going to be talking directly through frequency with a space being called Gattaca. Let people know. People that you think would be interested. We don't want to have... It'd be great if un, unawakened people heard it and they also it woke them up on a spiritual level that they all of a sudden became awake. Oh, yeah, now I'm awake. Failed Cap, good to see you. Hey, Paradise. Hey, Christina. Welcome, everybody. Michael Bullion, I think it is. Beta Ship, Ship, I think it is. So, um, hey, Squirrel. AJ Robinson, Writer Boy. I'm just uh, seeing different names. Derek S78, Stephen Jenkins. So I'd love to see as many, I really want to see a lot of people hear this. I want people to wake up that have not heard what's going on here. I want people to realize that historically we have made direct contact. It is historic. It's historic because it's not something that is like a fake audio recording that we say, let's put this on here tomorrow night. Let people hear noises like and think it's not, you know, think it's a space person. No, I will guarantee everything that's going on is recorded. I think I'm walking. And Bonnie, we'll get you on in a few minutes here. I just want, I want to get some of this out. Like, hey, Kit Kat. Miss Donna, welcome. Deborah D, good to see you. I know a number of you have heard Gotta Co. And if you're on last night, we did a little bit of a teaser, and I was kind of half like, oh, you know, we'll just do some radio frequencies. John Connor got the radio frequencies going, and we got Gotta Co. And Gotta Co was speaking last night for just a little bit. We want people. Just to give a little bit of a teaser or a preview of what Gattaca sounds like in his own voice through a translating system that they're probably using on their ship. And if you're on last night, you heard just a little bit towards the end of our show when John Connors was on, you heard Gattaca. You heard him. He's real. He exists. It's not a figment of my imagination. And even the skeptics would not be able to stand the test of time. So if a skeptic heard it, there's no way they can tear it down because it's real. You can't tear down something that's real. You can't 
So, you know, you folks are you're just like hearing things. You just start hearing things. It doesn't exist. You're hearing things, you know. Hey, thank you, Ra. Thank you so much for the hand heart. You know, I'm about cosmic truth. I always have been. Even before I had any computer, internet, or whatever. I'm all about cosmic truth. You know. I want people to connect. Hey, Sir Tugs. Good to see you, brother. Bonnie Blue Eyes. Hey, we're going to get you on in a minute. Seeing things. Um, but I'm all about cosmic truth. Cosmic awareness. You know. I want people to know what's happening. Many of you do. Thank goodness that many of you are awakened and others are waking up. Many of you are. Julie Trance Grammy, when did you feel the Gattaco? I know last night we had him on. Chris, good to see you. Um, I really want to stay so focused now. Oh, thank you. I am so... I can't believe how focused I am now about contact. I mean, that's like the most focused thing I've ever done in my life. It's like taking myself into a room and closing the door. And then I'm just sitting there silently meditating 24 hours a day. Now I'm not meditating 24 hours a day, but I think you understand where I'm going. You know, I think we're, we're ready now. I think we, Many of you are ready. Many of you have accepted the fact that there's things happening beyond our planet, things happening in other solar systems, galaxies, parallel dimensional realities, right? They're happening. So I have to speak the truth again, always. I got to speak and remind people to get focused to get really focused. And it's a good thing to be focused. It's the most beautiful thing you can do. There's so many things out there that are distracting us all the time. We're trying to distract us on this planet. But if we don't get distracted, if we stay laser focused, we will actually transform ourselves into a state of consciousness where we will hear. Gotta go mentioned about the sounds of silence, which was Simon and Garfunkel. Now, I never thought much, you know, I would listen to that song. I love that song by Simon and Garfunkel, the sounds of silence. What does that mean? What does the sounds of silence mean? You know, we live in a world, you know, granted, I'm talking, so understand what I'm going to say. On our planet, we're always constantly hearing sound, things chattering, people, you know, making noises, everything, what, from a car horn to a train going by, you know, people constantly chattering, 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 right? Constantly. I mean, so much so that you have to say, I can't hear my own self because I'm hearing everything else coming at me all over the place, right? Yes, living water. Yes, you're right. I'm so tired of noise. I love. The you know, most thing I love, hey, Rich, Denise, welcome. I love when there's just total quietness. When I'm in a space where there's nothing, no one chattering at me, nothing going like, you know, totally beautiful, right? That's what that song, and that's why Gattaca mentioned the song, Sounds of Silence, because if we listen if we take the time to really, truly listen, we can hear the sounds of the universe. But we spend so much time not listening, we hear everything in this world around us instead of the things that are universally above us, outside of this system. We do. It's just the way it is. We live on a planet where there's a lot of things happening, mostly noise. <laughs> Kyle, Susie Q, thank you for the roses. You know, we need to, yes, we need to really focus now. You know, because the time, we're going into a new year on the planet called 2024. And in 2024, we need to amp our game up, our cosmic game up. What does that mean? 
I didn't even know I was going to have this message tonight coming on the show. I actually was out. I was taken out for about a half hour before I came on. Uh, thank you for the hat. Thank you so much. We need to be so laser focused that all the things we think are the most important things are the least important things. Yes. All the things that we think are the most important things are the least important things. What does that mean? The most important things are the least important. Hmm. No answer. What I'm saying here is don't think everything out there is so important. Because it's not. The most important thing is to be focused tuned in like a laser galactic antenna, every one of us. And if our galactic antenna, that invisible antenna that is above the center of your head is activated, totally activated. If you activate it and you learn how to activate it, you will actually be able to fine tune into what I call your star frequency, your star family frequency. You lost me last night. Harmony Rachel. I know we lost you. I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, wow. Uh, but I'm going to get Bonnie on here, as I promised her I would. Uh, I just got to finish this message. Your hair acts like an antenna, too. Yes. Very well said, 444 Luke 86. You know, it's just uh, we're getting so, so close to something so beautiful and it is actually not only so beautiful now it is beautiful and you're all part of the experience right every one of you tomorrow night will be part of the experience you're always part of the experience every single person new or old watching this show you're all part of the experience on encounters no one is ever ever left out never should be no one should be left out of anything and you're all part of the experience. Jess, good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Everyone is part of a divine experience of light that is now tapping into every cellular structure of the human body. Every cellular structure. I've been all week so excited. All week. And then last night, briefly, we brought Gattaca in on the program. Just a brief bit to let people who've never heard him, who've heard about it, know that we are in contact, not through channeling, not through anything other than frequency, coming through a radio frequency on a spaceship communicating with us here on Earth. You see? Oh, yes, Rachel, and what I said last night, they are with you. The space beings want to contact you, and they're waiting for you to make contact with them to meet. They are. And for each individual out there having an experience that's positive, if you just had an experience, realize why you're having the frequency experience. Stubborn, uh, let's see, which frequency? Well, the frequencies vary. The frequencies will vary. So I'm going to use Gattaca as an uh, example. I am going to definitely get a radio maybe tomorrow over the weekend, an AM radio. I can feel it and hear it. Yes, you can, Harmony. You do. And your story was beautiful last night regarding that. Jordan 23, welcome to Encounters. I'm Commander Alian, host of the show here. And we're going to, in a few minutes, you know, I keep saying a few minutes in earth words. I keep saying a few minutes, a few minutes. I've got so much to say here, so I want to try to get it all out. <laughs> I've been having visions of the new dimensions for a while now. Beautiful blue moon. Sage Marie, everyone here should read the book from the trail to the star people. The Feva Maestro Z, out of curiosity, have you gotten inside a ship? Have you gotten? Have you been inside a ship? Probably, when I've been sleeping, I've probably been taken over the years, over the decades on a ship that I don't remember. 
Yes, we're all connected. Chim Chim, that's a good name, Chim Chim. Good to have you with us. That's actually an interesting name. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Scott, Brandy, Kay, all the people coming in here. Let everybody know. We want to get up to 50,000 likes tonight. We can do it. Freedom, Anne Berlin, everybody out there, tap, share. Not just only like. I want everybody to share our broadcast. Um, you know, that's really important that people get to know our show, that we're real, that we're here on Earth. Hey, Lavelle, it's good to see you. Did you hear about, let me see here, they're going so fast here. Did you hear about the Brazilian UFO crash? Uh, if I know in Brazil there was a crash many years ago, Brazilian Bella. Um, we're going to follow you, Brazilian Bella. You have 19 followers. Well, Brazilian Bella, uh, you now have 20 followers. We got to get you up to the 200 so we can get you on here, but I can still read your notes. And you have 14 shares now. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to get to the person that first asked me. I think it's Blue. If I can find Blue, let's see where they are. I know that they're somewhere. Let's see. Blue, blue, blue. That's, it's another this, this other blue person. If they're still here, we're going to get them on. Let's see. Is blue here? We're almost at 10,000. We're doing good. Keep going, everybody. Keep sharing. Not just liking. I want everybody to share. Everybody. Um, I wanted to get that blue person on. But I don't know where they went. Bonnie Blue, I think it was. Bonnie Blue. Hopefully they'll be back. Stephanie, welcome. So you're tuned into the commander, the man from Mars. This is that the original planet I came from was Mars. For new people here, I came here on Mission Earth. I'm also, I've worked with, and I do work with, Beyond doing this show, my radio show, I work with the Ashtar Command or Ashtar Galactic Command since before there was anything called an internet. So before that name became well known on the social media internet realm, I've been working with them coming from Mars and I work in cosmic consciousness. Uh, if you watch me last night, we had a gentleman come in. I had on live and we did some Christed healing. He had some major situations happening. And I used the palm of my hand once again as a vehicle. And after we were done, he felt completely lighter. And we sent some Ashtar Command people to his home invisibly to clear out negative energy. And when I do something like that, I give it up to the creator, which is God. When I go in my lives when I, and I end up doing something to help somebody like that, he felt the energy. Other people in the room felt what I was doing. I'm just a vehicle for the Christ, cosmic Christ, to be more specific. And whenever I do do that, which is not all the time, everything I do is real here. I'm not just throwing my hands in the air saying, look at my hand, look at my palm of my hand. You know, everything I do, I do for a purpose and a reason to help others. And I am committed to doing that on every single cosmic level of light on this planet. When I've sent spaceships, Mercury Man can attest to what I did for him. And I sent two Ashtar Command spaceships to Vermont that were high in the atmosphere. And he'll tell you that we got rid of reptilians that were affecting him. And they had a, they were living in a cave under his location in the woods. They left. When I need to do the work, activate situations to do certain things even i'm still learning after all these decades i'm still learning and amazed you know but we do what we do when we need to do it when our physical form is activated beyond 3d the beyond the 3d world we end up activating things that will do things in this situation to help others 
Do you understand? Mercury Man's right here. He knows. He knows what happened. He doesn't have any more problems with reptilians. Why? Because I actually did send two spaceships, large ships, and we had Ashtar Command personnel go into the cave and they peacefully forced the reptilians to leave the earth where he was. He has no more problems anymore with this anything being, he has no more problems at all with these beings interfering with his family life in Vermont or anything. This is a true story. So in physical form, I am human. Yes, we all are. In physical form, we are human. But there's more than just the physical form. Some of you are just waking up, and that's a beautiful thing. And I'm glad to see people are starting to wake up and tune in to who they are. But when I say these things, I'm sharing stories that are true. Every story I share is a true story. When we helped this person last night, the same thing. I said, we have to send some beings of light to their location to just kick some butt and get those negative energies out of their home. And I believe in the next few days that person's going to feel is feeling so much better. You know. So I think we have high Kicking Granny, high kicking Granny. Let's bring high kicking Granny in here. Actually, I'm trying to find the other person, but we will take high kicking, high kicking Granny in here. Hi, kicking. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? We're doing good. How about yourself? Okay, I've been listening to you, and it's, and I've watched you before, and uh, what you're saying is very interesting. You know, um, I can't subscribe to everything you say because I'm a, a person that has to see things for themselves, you know. Not of course, just of course. To listen to other people. That's right. But, um, That's the way I am, too. I have, to, I have to see it, too. So I do yeah, understand Yeah, I'm that. just a person that has to see to believe sometimes, you know. And um, But I, I kind of put things together. It's like a puzzle, you know. You'll yeah. you'll hear something and and you'll think about it and then later on something else will come to mind and sometimes things just click together you know yeah uh, so anyway I was listening to you when you said something about the radio yeah uh, the radio about tomorrow yes yeah. well I was down in my basement today and I found a radio. Uh, in fact, uh, I had a helper, you know, cleaning the room out for me, and he made a comment about this old radio. <laughs> and I said, yeah, it probably still works. We Nobody's used it for a long time, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got the radio. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking when I heard you, my ears perked up when you said that about the radio. So I was like, well, what should I do and when should I do it if I want right. to listen in? Right. So when I say radio, let me help you out here. I'm glad you're on here, and I, I really appreciative of that. So we've been having contact uh, with a space being from the star system Cirrus. You, know, you might be, I don't know if you've heard him come through radio frequency on my show. So if you haven't, you will. Um, okay. So that's going to be, that's tomorrow night. So what's been happening is it started less than a month ago in my daughter's room with her Alexa app. And I'm not sure I'm going to hook that up tonight. I forgot to put that. Well, here. that's 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 a coincidence. I have Alexa too, and I and I've had her for, from since like 2018, and uh, some amazing things have happened with my Alexa. And interesting. Uh, and the other thing is, I don't know if this has any bearing on anything, but in 2018. My husband had a heart attack, and he had a mm. triple bypass surgery. Mm. And and just right after I had cataract surgery, this happened. I had one eye done, and then my husband had a heart attack. And then I then I after, while he was still in the hospital, I had the other cataract taken off. 
Well, mm-hmm. ever since that, ever since that time, I've been basically going blind. Oh no! Yeah, first it was my right eye, and then it was my left eye, and I, for a while I just had a little tiny vision that I could mm-hmm. pick out one letter at a time mm-hmm. on a screen or a book. But this past year, I've completely lost all my reading abilities. Oh, I'm sorry and, to hear that. Yeah. So, that. Uh, but, this, but but you'll be able to hear his voice. So at least if you 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 won't be able to see him per se. Yeah. But you'll be, you'll be able to hear the Gattaca, which is the name of the being from the star system constellation Cirrus. You'll be able to hear his voice tomorrow night. So when I talk about AM radio, uh, I'm actually going to put one here. I got my uh, my app. I just plugged in the Alexa app. Uh, <laughs> So um, give me a moment because um, I'm going to be putting a really amped up uh, crystal on it right now. Give me a minute. Okay. So crystals have frequency. So here's a crystal here. This is one that you can't see it. Well, you can. Yes, I have here. a crystal in my room. Well, here's a crystal here. These all my crystals are amped up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be doing with the crystal. I'm putting it on top of the Alexa app. It's, it's going to actually amp up the frequency. These are apotholite crystals. Apotholite are ET crystals. These crystals come from India. I mean, I didn't get them from India, but they come from India, and they're small. The biggest uh-huh. you get, you can see maybe a little bit of it here. Yeah, I could, I could, I could actually make out the shape of it. Yes, yeah. and that's what so, I basically see. I can see your shape, but I really can't see facial features of any right. sort. So now I've just put the other crystal, the bigger one, on top of the app, and the other two apophyllite crystals, one on right and one on left. Uh-huh. So now I've just amped up the frequency through the Alexa app. So if something is to happen, and they and they what they did is the space people used the Alexa app a less than a month ago, and they played a Billy Holiday song on there, and it got my attention when I was live here on my broadcast. All this has been recorded on my and it's on my YouTube channel. Okay, well, um, you know, I ha- I really had connected all your information. I just see you now and then, so yeah. Yeah, so so that's why I'm giving you some background story, so you'll uh-huh. know exactly what happened. You know, I yeah. don't assume everybody knows the whole story of what's going on here. Yeah. So, and no one should ever assume that. So that's how it started. And then we've been having contact with them. And they've known about me before I was even born. They knew everything about me. They've been, I guess, connected with me before I even knew I, they were, I was connected with them. And we finally made contact. They finally, after all these decades, were able to find me and communicate with me. Well, no. you know, that's that's really amazing that, uh, you know, I don't think anybody could make that kind of stuff up, really. I mean, you have, no. you'd, have to, you'd have to be a really creative genius to do that. Yeah, I'm not that smart. Earth-wise, I'm not a you know, creative genius to make something up like that. Anyone that knows me personally, outside of TikTok or social media or radio, I can never make anything like that up. Yeah. And, you know, so yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here. Um, you know, and I'm glad you're hearing the story of what is going on. And matter of fact, we might tease everybody. Like I said, I know how to use my crystals. I mean, I've, I've got all kinds of extraterrestrial crystals over the last decade. Uh, the command always guided me to certain crystals that are activated crystals. Hey, John, good to have you with us. We're going to bring John up on the show. And um, he's the other person that we're really close associated with, um, just a beautiful being of light. And um, he's a part of our group of the show. Um, We also have uh, Chesno. We're going to bring Chesno up here. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I don't know why everyone's small right now. But, um, yeah, definitely the more you listen more regularly, you'll find that there are things happening here. Information that I give here on encounters is pretty much straightforward and honest, uh, you know. Uh, so yeah, 
how do you amp up your crystals new lorely so what i do is um it's good to put them you know i use i put them outside sometimes which you should do okay uh, very good chest though glad to have you sitting out there and just uh, you know in uh, jammies or jamming or what have you uh good to have you with us so it's really uh i do is before i get a crystal when i do pick up crystals once a year I don't pick up a lot of crystals. I'm guided to certain crystals at crystal shows, big crystal shows, and that's where I get the crystals. And if uh, if I feel the energy of the crystal and it's really connected to a very high frequency, that's how I buy my crystals. You know, cool. that's how I do it. So every crystal in uh, this room I'm in now is in the next few weeks going to be filled with crystals. This is going to be the new sort of a meditation room the other room is going to be transformed into what is now the living room. It's going to be the living room. This is going to be the meditation galactic room with all the crystals, amethyst, everything. It's going to be so amped up in here. It's going to be crazy. Wow. It will be, you know. And I also know that once we get that settled with the frequency of all the crystals in one place, the frequency transmissions are going to be so high that it's going to be elevating to another frequency of consciousness. So yeah, so you're well, learning for really a lot of beautiful things. That's really interesting. I was gifted a crystal, like mm -hmm. uh, let's see, in tw oh, thank you. 2014, and I have it in my bedroom. Oh, good. That's a really good thing. As you learn more about crystals, I know a lot about ET crystals. I don't. I'm not. When people buy things, they go to a crystal store or whatever. They'll buy a crystal. I see people buying crystals. They want to learn about the crystal or they think it's a nice pretty little crystal but and that's fine if that's what they want you know they want to get a crystal for it's a nice pretty little crystal for me every crystal has an important meaning every crystal has a purpose every crystal is a transmitter receiver and uh the crystals are all activated and any and the, and they they draw energy from from space all my crystals do and I guess that's right now we have a portal open. So whenever I go live, there's a portal open that I have to close at the end of my show. And I'm also having to send people that have passed on through a opening of light that I create. And they all go with the angels helping them and the Christ of beings helping them. Um, and then we close the portal up when they've all gone, crossed over. So that's another thing I have to do. I didn't have to do that before because we're drawing in so much light here. When I'm on the on the program, uh, we've drawn a lot of people that want to cross over here, and then we just send them after the show. I have to say, you know, I bring in the angelic beings to help them cross over, because when I do this show, I guess I didn't realize that I opened portals, <laughs> you know, that I was opening a portal, and so I have to close the portal up. But before I close it, I have to make sure all of these people get to go cross over, and then I close it up for the night. You know, they're not supposed to stay here. So, yeah. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. And I'm going to uh, get John Connors up here. I don't know why everyone's small on the screen. Uh, I didn't change my settings, but somehow something's happening you'll, you'll here. You'll probably have to kick me out because I don't know how to get out. Oh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> I, will, I will gently say... You know, just keep watching. I'm just going to press the little button here. And thank you so much. I really appreciate your your coming on here. It's been great. Okay, thank you. Hey, hey, you're welcome. Let's see here. Let's see what's this going to be here. Just do this here. All right. Granny was great. We love Granny. Thank you, Granny. And we're going to get John Connors up here. Where is he? Here he is. Uh, and if he comes in small on the, on the uh, if he comes small on the frequent on the frequency small on the frequency, um, hopefully everything is set for people to be on the large screen. So we'll just say on the enhance button what's going on here. Voice effects. We don't want any sound effects or voice effects. All right. This is going to be an interesting night. For some reason, I feel something weird is going to happen. Uh, Chris W. Harry Five. 
Will our phones be going to pick up all the vibrations of your podcast? Possibly. And Kay, I hope you're doing well out there. Hey, Gypsy. The commander will always do as host what he wants to do. And I do that all my life. Uh, I know you're feeling better. That's good. The commander never listens to anybody. People do not have to learn something about me. I don't listen to anybody. When I tell you that, I mean that as a different perspective. I listen to no one on websites. I listen to nobody. I listen to me. I listen to my soul. I listen to my higher self. And anything I do, I do. If I don't do it, and I want to do it, and I might just say to myself, why didn't I do it? Because I was listening to other people tell me what to do. I never do. Once you get to know the commander, I never listen to have other people telling me what to do. I do what I do. If it's supposed to happen, it's supposed to happen. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do, right? So it's a beautiful thing. And once people start doing the same thing, meaning you don't do what other people tell you to do, but you do what you want to do, on a cosmic level, you'll be actually really act activating yourself to a higher level. Never do what anybody tells me to do. Why would I do that? If someone tells me to go right, I'm going to go left. If someone tells me to go left, I'm going to go right. If someone needs to go down, I'm going to go up. It doesn't work with me. I've, I've, you know, I've been on this planet enough to know that I'm here to bust the matrix, and I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> Everyone should be doing the busting of the matrix their own way. No one should be doing the same thing as anybody else is doing, right? If we do the same thing everybody else is doing, then we create a new matrix. But if we don't follow everybody else and we follow our higher self and our soul, our cosmic soul, we bust the matrix down to the core, right? That's what we're here to do. Bust the matrix down to the core. Yeah, we don't want to be sheep. So that's why I don't listen to anybody. You know, I never will. But on the other word listening, I love hearing people's stories, encounters, visitations. So many beautiful people having their own experiences too, right? That's the way it should be. So if you're saying, oh, Commander, why are you going to do it this way? Why are you doing that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I love everybody, but I don't care what people think about what I'm doing or how I'm doing it or what the way I should do it. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it the way I'm doing it because it's my way of doing things. Other person, another person might have their own way, their own painting, their own drawing. No one's going to paint the same painting. That'd be pretty boring. Hey, I think I'm going to copy your painting. Do it the way you're doing it. Do your own painting. Create your own tapestry. You know, when you create your own tapestry, you're going to see how beautiful it is. You don't have to copy anybody's tapestry, right? <laughs> I can't be micromanaged. Hey, I love that, Gypsy. I can't either. No one will ever micromanage me. Nah, not why I'm on this planet. Sonic, you're buying a painting from the 1890s. Very cool. Very cool. How do you know if, the, if you encounter a good or bad being? It's all vibrations. That's a great question. RJBC. How do you know if you're encountering a good or bad being? So I'm going to give you a teachable answer. If you ever do have contact with a being from another planet beyond Earth, wherever they are, and if you ask the question, are you a Christed being of light? Do you accept the cosmic Christ? And they do not answer you. Or they uh, say, no, we do not. You cut off the communications. If the being is honest and tells you, that they come from a high frequency of love in whatever words they would use as a non-terrestrial being, you'll know. The other way you'll know if they're good is the feeling of energy. It's all energetic. So if that space being and you have contact and you feel beautiful energy, I mean purely beautiful energy, then you are having positive contact. If it is negative, you'll feel icky, not too good. You might feel kind of sick. All these kind of different things that don't feel too good. And if you don't, if that's happening, you need to put up some protection around your physical being uh, to block any communications from a negative energy of ET that is of a lower vibrational level. 
okay so that's how you that's just simply one of the ways I would answer your question about the differences discernment Michelle is absolutely key and yeah and Scott right Scott's right your gut feeling so in your gut feeling if some ET comes at you physically or whatever and you feel icky and oh man I'm not feeling too good about this you need to put a well before you ever have the contact you need to learn to put a Christ of protection around your body it's very easy to do meditate focus on you know creating an invisible shield around your human body of light and that there will be no way that anything negative or a lower vibrational ET can communicate or contact you so if you do all those things initially uh, you'll protect yourself from having negative ET contact Yeah, Mystic Warrior is right. You'll know by how you're feeling. I used to joke about finding magic items and immediately eating them. Huh. Yes, much better than thanks, Julie. Okay, let's see. I'm just reading notes here. Hello, Commander. Love from the top of the world. Hey, Serenity. Let's see here. Wow, so true, Jeff says. Hey, Jeff. I'm reading comments here. I'm going up. Being empathic is tough. Uh, listen, okay, here. Have you ever encountered, okay. Oh, Divine Light Code. Have I ever encountered a negative ET being commander? No. The only one moment in my life in the 1980s, I was in my room and a cloud, like a, like a fog mist came over the house, and the house I used to live in in Connecticut. And I saw, like, a, at the time, it was a tall, person like with a coat on and a like a hat like a black hat on and uh i just ended up uh i told them to leave i said they weren't you know i didn't want them here it was the only it was there just a brief time in my history in my human life that that happened never happened again um but that was the only time i, I didn't know what it was but i do know it was a very uh, minimum part of my life but I would say most of my life has been all positive. My contact with non-terrestrial beings and being, uh, I always protect myself. I work with the Ashtar Command, so I'm very protected on a lot of levels. I never have negative contacts. I don't let myself lower myself to a vibrational frequency where they can come in. The, the, the negative ETs can't even reach my frequency. My frequency has now been established over my human life to the point where it's high enough that they can not even touch me. They can't even come into my consciousness. They never do. Great question. I never, ever have problems. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, John is here, I think. I'm going to bring... Let's see here. Uh, John is here somewhere. Hey, Grace, good to see you. Why am I having John on a small screen? I'm going to bring him up here. I want to see why I'm on it. If I bring him up on a large screen, let's see what happens. Oh, that's really weird. All right. Hey, John. Hey, just give me a second. I'm, I'm still driving, so uh, I'll, I'll be, take your time here shortly. I'm going to try to figure out why did I do what I did on my screen here. <laughs> Is that from yesterday? Yeah, I'm still like in the smoke. It says um, there's, there's got to be something I can press to change that. Uh, it says I'm on multiple guest mode. Let's see here. What's up, guys? So we're going to try to get my 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 boxes strained out here. This is not the way I want to have it. Let's see here. Uh, we'll have to figure this out. I know there's a way of changing this. There's got to be why I'm on live and a, a way to do you this. Let me get in here. Uh, your profile, click on yours, and there's like multiple boxes. There's going to be like the four square one, the three square one, and then the straight up and down. Yeah. This, this, uh, so I'm back on, on the big screen, but I want to bring up everyone on an equal screen here. Let's see here. What's up, Serenity? Someone told me, uh, maybe it's under settings. Let me go there. Comment settings, moderator, rankings, hear your voice. I, always can, I can see this. Muting accounts. No, I don't want to do any of that. 
If anybody knows how I can equal the screen up, please let I'm I'm not able to see anything other than what I've seen. Like the other night we had everybody on equally, like four squares. Yeah. I think I have to change the multi guest setting. Multi guest setting. Huh. I'm just taking my father Kyle Reese to uh, Burger King. Oh good. Maybe you'll see a spaceship on the way over. <laughs> that's that can guess. happen. Yeah, that's where he came from. There's oh, there you go. There's a lot of uh, military uh, testings of the helicopters because of the. Uh, oh yeah, where you guys are, yeah. Oh, them, yeah, yeah. Because I can see it right out of my room when they're testing them. They test a lot of them at night. I heard that one uh, <laughs> yesterday. It was it was super loud too. It was huge. Wow. So, oh, and uh, just let. Father, he's 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 eating it. He enjoys yeah. it. <laughs> you know. They should have to eat any Burger King. Oh, it reminds me. They don't. Question. They don't have a flying saucer's driving over there. Uh, he's ran out of gas. Oh. See, if they had a flying saucer drive-in, you would be eating intergalactic food. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> There's uh, folks. There is no place called a, a flying sorcerer in, but if there was, that would be intergalactic food. Uh, so, what were you guys talking about earlier about the the, the crystal that you go and pick them up, like a crystal? A crystal uh, yeah, uh, I go to um, these big crystal shows um, once a year up here. They're all over the country. This is called the uh, the East Coast Gem Mill Show. They have them, I think, in Colorado, out west. I think even in Arizona, and. Um, hundreds of crystal sellers come from all over the country and some other countries and you can buy crystals really uh you know, all kinds of crystals and i've always been guided i told people every crystal i've had for the last 20 years that i've gotten at the crystal show are all et crystals i mean when i say that i amp up all the, the frequencies of the crystals are already you know amped up on my my lex app i've got one big crystal here that i got actually from a crystal store in connecticut up north and it's really, really beautiful. I got it sitting on top of the Alex app, and I have two Apophilites, one on the right and left of it. And the Alexa is responding, kind of listening to what I'm saying. She has a yellow circle that she goes around. So she hears what I'm saying. I'm not sure what she's doing, but she's doing something. Um, and when you talk, when we talked about radios, I'm thinking, John, that I need to get an AM radio when we do this tomorrow night that if I get an AM radio and sit it next to my room, you remember the old days when they had stereophonic quad speakers and all those things going on when we had turntables and uh, AM FM radios. So I'm experimenting with the idea of getting an AM radio with an antenna, nothing expensive, putting it here. So when we go on to different frequencies, we've got to go tomorrow night. I'm going to tune in the same frequency and see what happens. I think that would be pretty interesting. He's, uh, I think they're at the drive through or something. So here's what I'm saying. But um, I think that is going to be interesting. I don't know. I came up with that idea today when I was meditating. So I think what I'm going to do is get an AM radio. I can get it at you know local store with an antenna on it. They're cheap. And I can manually turn tune in to different frequencies. And this way, hey, Divine Light Code, have a good night. Many blessings to you. And with that use of the the AM radio, it will be interesting uh, to see what happens when we have Gattaca come through. Uh, and for those who are new to the show here, and the one thing I never do is assume everybody knows what I'm talking about. But we, uh, like I said, we're going to be communicating with a space being through frequency tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern. That's 10 Central, uh, six, uh, 10 Central, nine Mountain. And five and eight o'clock, West Coast three o'clock. If you're in Australia, and if you're in Europe, whatever the time zone is there, that's tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Please uh, feel free to share the video I posted there earlier in the week with people, letting them know about the broadcast. And you're going to hear uh, Gatico, who speaks. I think I actually first time last night, I was able to pick out the words. Um, 
Jesse, 88 Mermaid, do you know it is a certain space being? Yes, I absolutely 100% know that because he actually was in my room, invisible, and uh, he actually turned on the application of the Alexa app, and he, and uh, actually last night, Maria is a witness to the fact that we were doing just a brief teaser, and I was experimenting to see, and John and I did this uh, with radio, he has the radios and the frequency adjustments, and we had Gattaca. It's all recorded. And uh, he came through last night briefly. Uh, just uh, that, that was my dad's old uh, radio that he gave me from his, his grandpa. Oh, really? And it's really interesting, John. You know, it, it never ever in my life have I thought, you know, I never thought so much now until this happened, how, how a radio, AM radio, uh, you can be using it for intergalactic reception. Uh, that's pretty amazing, you know, and, and the fact that that's happening, because based on that person's question, uh, you know, and then Maria, who was on last night, Gattaca said your name. That's right. I heard, I actually heard Gattaca say your name in English. I actually listened with my earbuds on here and I heard him say your name. That was amazing. You know, uh, you folks here got to realize what's happening, what John and I are doing. And John has stated, Gattaca is always with me, which is true. But he's broadcasting through the radios uh, where John is. And John is a transmitter in his own right. And uh, where and I'm like a receiver. And I've used the terminology of a triangular, uh, the word triangular, okay? So it's a triangular connection. If I was to draw it on a piece of paper, maybe I should. The transmission from the ship comes to the antenna, which is the radio frequency. The antenna is John. His whole body becomes a galactic antenna. It goes into the radio, AM radio frequency, and then it's transmitted over to where I am. And at that point, the triangular energy goes back to the ship. So we're in a triangular motion constantly when he's on here. We're just absolutely, you know, finding the right frequency. And Gattaca wants to speak but we have to find our frequency clear enough for him to amplify his audio from the spaceship to be able to communicate with us okay so this is real this is really happening maria can attest to it that last night he spoke to her and mentioned her name okay and anyone who was on last night heard it and that was just a little teaser a little teaser for anyone who doesn't believe what's happening uh, you know, I can't tell you to believe it. It's happening. As a matter of fact, I don't even care if people don't believe it because it's happening. <laughs> I was on. Oh, Gypsy. So you heard. Yeah, you were on last night. You heard it. So Maria had her name called out by Gattaca. Uh, yes, indeed. And I kept hearing it. Yeah, he kept repeating your name. He was trying to communicate with you. Now, for people that don't know where they come from, Gattaca and his people come from a planet in the star system Cirrus. The constellation Cirrus, that's where he comes from. That's where they come from, the star system Cirrus. So if you have a map chart of stars, look that area up. That's where they come from. His ship is here. I mean, when I say it's here, it's somewhere on the planet right now doing stuff. They're always doing stuff. They've been doing, as a matter of fact, John mentioned the other night what they were doing with some weather patterns in uh, Florida. Yeah, by the highest horizon between uh, the Bermudas and the uh, uh, Tampas, and um, the other one was Costa Maya, Costa Maya, Costa Maya. Costa Maya, right. You know, I mean, you know, when they're communicating with us, they're also doing other things. They're not just sitting around talking. They are doing things to help our planet. And... Um, Yeah, so yeah, it's very important people understand that what 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 what's happening here. It, it's you know, it's the most it becomes more important than our own existence. Just and when I say that, I mean that that our existence is our existence isn't important as a human race. It's way more important in a, a more uh expansive way to put it in earth terms, that people realize that we are going into something different on our planet. We're going to have some things occur 
that some people are going to have to get used to. Many people that are not aware of things, most of you are, but some that might come in here because they see it on TikTok and say, oh, well, let's check that room out. I'm going to see what that room's about. And then they hear us talking like this. They might not even understand what we're talking about right now, but that's okay. Not everybody will. No one's, not everyone's going to understand what John and I are, 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 are saying, but that's okay. You know, they will eventually get there. If some people don't get there, you know, they will at some point, right? Uh, Punk, the ETs, the space people aren't here to save us. Uh, I, But I, I appreciate the question. I'm going to answer it. The space people are here that are coming here now for contact are here to reconnect with individual people first. So my understanding is, and I, mean, I clearly understand it, that's what's happening to me. It's an individual contact. So those that are ready for it will be contacted. Child of God, welcome. And everyone else coming in here. We love your questions on encounters. Um, there's also going to be situations coming up in the next two years where people are going to see a lot of non, uh, non-terrestrial spaceships. And some people are going to freak out and they're not going to know what to do and they're going to get all freaked out over nothing. You know? But... They're not here to save us. They're here to wake, help us wake up. It's time for people to wake up. That's what I'm here to do on the show is listen to people's stories. But I'm also here because I have a mission to do beyond listening to stories that are happening all, for people all over the planet for the last year. Since last year or when I got on here live, I've, been, I've, I've had people share many different encounter stories. Oh, you're welcome, punk. So I love answering questions. Thank you, Stephen. You know, I've seen a lot of really popular things on YouTube, people talking about UFOs with government officials and all these things. To me, that's unimportant. You know why it's unimportant? Because when you have contact with a person from outer space, I don't need to talk to somebody who uh, used to work for the Air Force or somebody used to work for this group or that group. Why do I need those? You know, why do I need that? I'm already talking to somebody on a spaceship on my show here, coming through a radio frequency. You can't make that up. That's why I don't care what people think, because I've made the contact. They, they, they're they the ones who instigated the contact with me through an Alexa app playing a song. They got my attention one night. You can't make that up. It's all recorded and documented. Everything I talk about is documented. Every show I record here, I put on my YouTube channel. So I know what I'm doing. John knows. John Connors and I, he, he knows very well what's happening. He's very tuned in. Can we hear what's you going on? Oh, no, no. I'm just uh, answering questions to educate people. Uh, right. So when I, get, when I get good questions, I want to help them, the person thank me for answering it. So I love well, questions because I can, you know, then I can share more of myself. I know I don't always do that because I'm always listening to other people which I love doing because I like interviewing people. But, yeah, um, I'm just glad the question had, it was a great question. So thank you for uh, Punk answering, answering. Can't get to speak English tonight. Thank you for providing that question for me. <laughs> here's here's um, something back of your, back of your, your knowledge there is uh, – let's see here. So it says uh, – Surrounding the blue white star. Okay, there you go. There you, there you go. There you, there you guys can read it there. Oh yeah, uh, I can read that. I said for all the uh, the tenure of humans on Earth. What am I reading? Oh, right here, right here. This one on top here. Okay. Um, surrounding the blue white star in its equatorial plane was a vast ring of orbiting debris, rocks and ice, metals and organics, reddish as the, reddish as the, I can't, what's that word? Periphery? Periphery, that's right. And bluish closer to the star, the world size polyhedron. Polyhedron. See, they, they say it's a uh, polyhedron, right? Polyhedron, yeah. 
So uh, get one second. When it comes to polyhedron, it's talking like this. There's almost triangles uh, on one yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, And it's open on one side, so you have the, the north and the, and the light is attracted to it. Yeah. And you're at plummeted. Yeah. Through a gap in, in the, let's see, in the rings and emerged out the other side. Interesting. Uh, in the ring plane, it has been intermittently shadowed by icy boulders and tumbling mountains, but now carried along its trajectory toward a point above the opposite pole of the star. The sunlight gleamed off its millions of bowl-shaped appendages. If you looked very carefully, you would not have seen the burst of radio waves. Radio waves meaning radio waves. That's that. That's that should be uh, parentheses. Yeah, washing out from it into the depths of space. Wow, very very beautifully. That's really really true. Yeah. So I wanted to share that with you because when I was reading this, um, it got me to the point where it's just something so we're going always trying to upgrade we're always trying to go from the honda to the mercedes to the to the uh lamborghini to the uh, marcilago uh whatever they call that uh it starts with the m um yeah but anyways yeah if you go back and don't forget where you came from there's always knowledge to go back where you came from because you missed something there because you didn't have the knowledge of it. Now you have the knowledge of it, so you should go back and 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 like the analysis of the whole area where you came from, so you can see all the angles and the, the speculation that you could miss something very important at the time, right? Yeah. So you go back to to regain yeah. the stuff that you might have missed, right? So then you can upgrade. Um, I don't know if you guys ever played the video game. Uh, Zelda, The Legends of Zelda. Hmm. It's uh, it's where you upgrade your character, and but if you do it too fast, you, when you get to the boss at the very end, you're not going to have enough knowledge uh, to finish and beat that boss, right? So um, when it comes to my knowledge of this radio frequency, I have no idea other than... <laughs> All these books yeah. that, I, that I have, you know, and I'm just reading on them. And uh, it's it just, I mean, one after another, you know, the Book of Enoch helps, you know, with the, yeah. the whole shifting. Um, and I can't make any of this up because I would not be doing this right now. I'd be probably doing something else. Um, the Cosmo, uh, the dictionaries, that's like the size is like 20 by books, you know. And uh, yeah. when it came across, like, the oscilloscopes, uh, the machinery, the yeah. – you know everything, and I, I just really, I really like it when someone says, "Oh, you're making it up," or you know, because right. I, I, I thought someone was giving you a hard time, honestly. And yeah, um, no, they were they, they were actually asking a very heartfelt question, and now they're 100 percent in after I answered their question. They like really now understand. It was a pretty beautiful thing to see. Yeah, and I appreciate yeah. it because your your lives, the viewers that you have, Commander, are very respectful and I, I just never seen it where it has ever got any and you also have great comment uh what's it called those uh uh commentators or, or the um moderators sorry <laughs> way off oh of yeah my moderators yeah they're all the best chaz knows taking a break tonight and the skip to grace uh you know i have good people here doing such great things and we love them all every one of them yeah so um let's see here uh what is that from hmm Meta bank, meta bank, metaverse. Wow, check that out. Um, mm. When it comes into the, the bank, uh, the um, Enoch bankment of um, knowledge, because they took yeah. this out of, out of one of the books of the of the uh, Babilia. Mm -hmm. But um, what I noticed is that in it says worshiping stones, engraved gold and silver, and wooden images. Yeah, uh, in here and like stuff like that. They were having uh, 
sculptures, right? And so when I'm looking into this sculpture thing, mm -hmm. are we going into the golden age or are we coming out of the golden age, going into the platinum yeah. age? Interesting question. Interesting. Are you asking me that question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can answer that question. I, I didn't know if you were gonna if you had something you were thinking of. So I can definitely uh, answer that question for, and it probably is on mass consciousness about a golden age. Now for years in the new age community, before I got out of the new age community, I'm way past the new age community. For me, that's like beginner stuff. I'm in the cosmic age. So what is the difference between the new age and the cosmic age? The common cosmic age is where you graduate from all the perceptions of the new age and come into a state of consciousness that allows you to realize that in the cosmic age, it's not about new ageisms and about, you know, fluffy little things and people doing little things that are just going to make them go in a circle and go nowhere except to make them feel good. And it's not, there's nothing wrong with feeling good. But when you're going into the golden age, what we call the golden age, that word's been thrown around for a lot of decades in my lifetime, there is a golden age that we're going into. It's really a cosmic golden age. So I'm going to use the word cosmic golden age. What does that mean? It means the age where we're not just enlightened beings on the planet Earth, but all the planets in our solar system are going through an elevated frequency. Not just in our solar system, in every solar system, in every galaxy within our universe. So we're not the only planet that will be, we live here. So obviously it's important for us to realize that we're having something that's very special because we live here. So well, you can't forget that. Uh, every planet is special. Every planet is going through the same, well, not the same thing. Some of them might be already elevated, but they're going to another frequency. So the golden age is an age where we now transform from a place of limitation to a place of being accepted in a galactic foundation of spiritual love. What does that mean? That means that every planetary system that's already a spiritual planet of peace, we will begin to be part of that once our planet switches over from where we are now to where we're going. So the golden age is an age where we uh, are able to intergalactically travel to other planets. The golden age is when we live in harmony with the universe and the creator. The golden age is when we respect each other as human beings, that we're not the same human beings that we've been so far creating wars, blowing up things over the last billions of years, millions of years, thousands of years. The golden age is an age when we all come together and understand that we are going to be part of a cosmic family. Now, the, the word ascension has been used. So uh, the golden age, the ascension, a lot of people in the new age community will say, we're going to go into the ascension. Every decade, every year, we're going to ascend. We're going to ascend. We're going to ascend. Let me explain something. We're going to be ascending our planet. Mother Earth will be ascending into a new frequency. We're not leaving the Earth. We're going to be living on a new Earth. We're not running away from planet Earth to have a golden age. We're going to create it here. What's the point in running away from something when we're supposed to be here transforming the planet, right? There are people that don't want to be here. I've met people over the decades that say to me, Commander, how do I get off this planet? And I say, why do you want to get off this planet? Why do you want to get off this planet? I want to get off this planet, Commander. I really do. Why do you want to get off this planet? I'm saying to you, all I'm saying is you don't want to get off this planet. You want to cherish your life on this planet, transform this planet, and make it a planet of love and light. So every word has a meaning. Every single thing. It's such a great question you asked me. The, yeah. the whole thing of a golden age. Everyone's perceptions of a golden age. There is no golden age unless we make it a golden age. Correct. You know, no one's going to make a golden, you know, our space brothers, like Godco and the people from the star system Cirrus, as, I'm, as I understand him more, as I become, we have this relationship that John and I have with him and that you are now feeling when, you, when we are on tomorrow night, the relationship is not about beings from another planet saving our Earth. I'm not going to tell Godico, please stop all the war. I mean, I'd love to tell him to stop all the wars, but the purpose is that we're the ones that have to stop all the wars. We're the ones who have to stop all the killings. We're the ones who have to change the things on this planet. You know, we can't be dependent upon others, even if they could. You know, we're not supposed to be looking at others as gods and goddesses to come here and do all the work for us. That's not what it's supposed to be about. 
what, what fun would that be? I mean, what, what's the purpose then if they come here from other galactic planets, land on our Earth and say, you can't do this anymore? Does that change people's consciousness? No. The way we change consciousness on Earth humans is by teaching them a better way. By those of you who are awake, going out there, doing the mission work. Those of you who truly know what I'm talking about, doing the mission work. You want to create a golden age, we all have to do it. We have to do the work. This show is about, is really about that. That's why I started the show because I said, what should, I, what should I do on TikTok? What am I supposed to do? I really spent a lot of time before I did this show. And I said, this is what I'm supposed to do. Now, this is one of the things I do. I do other things other than being on, on TikTok every day. I do my workshops. I try to teach people how to go off planet and, can, and go to a golden ship of light, which does exist outside of our realm. And I take them back and they keep a journal. Every one of my uh, students, when I do a class, keeps a journal and they remember everything they've actually experienced. So I want people to realize you want a golden, you want to have a planet of peace. <clears throat> Don't depend on our space people to take the planet, clean up the pollution, stop the wars. You have to do it. Every one of you on Earth has to do that. Um, does that make sense to anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, John, that was a great question. Well, the reason why is because uh, when you were talking yesterday, I, I heard like someone say something about the Ice Age, the Dark Ages, and I seen like there was a uh, significant amount of pool of of my my inner um, inner intuition to pull me to, towards the way. So. Um, it's just as they say that the moon is being pulled by the, you know, the, the tidal waves are being pulled by the moon's, you know, uh, shift of, of how everything's going. So I, I just really went towards it and I just let it be. And it, um, it endowed me with a m amount of intelligence that I, I couldn't get unless I went to like a college or a school, but I got it all in one sitting. Mm. And, um, if the known is is finity, the unknown is infinity, then intellectually we stand on what? An invisible ocean of unknownness, right? I, I just I just think that every generation that comes in is it's their business to make do to the past generation and and endow uh, a new beginning every time. Mm -hmm you know, that comes along. Um, the cosmos are all that is and that's all there ever will be. And uh, in our little feeblest mm. understanding of our uh, human, ordinary human uh, understanding, I, I don't know what an ordinary human is other than I used to be one, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know. I think I don't either. You know, I'm with you. I have no idea what an ordinary <laughs> human is. Uh, you know, I don't, that's a great I don't know what that is. I do know there are people that are asleep. Maybe that's an ordinary human, a sleeping person. I know that many people watching this are not ordinary. You're not you know, ordinary. I'm not ordinary. See that you book? Know? Yeah. It just open. It opened to the a page. Now watch. Now, now you're gonna see how this works. Just watch because it, it usually doesn't do this. Now watch. I'm not, my hands are right here. Look at this. Look what's happening. The page is moving by itself. Are you seeing that? Look okay, at that. No, I, okay. The message, now it's closing it. Look at that. I can't make this up, folks. Look what's is, going nobody, on here. It's, it's, it's just me, okay? So yep. it happens. Oh, it happens like that quite often. So now I'm gonna, what I, when I saw that when you were talking, I saw mm -hmm. coherent light when I looked at it, okay? So there's nothing that, it was, this, it was, it was closed like this. Right. So then it opened yeah. like this, and it was like stuck like this. So it was stuck on the tripod. So right. whatever was happening, yeah, I, I believe me. I wish I, I, he was. He was. He wasn't even touching the book. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do this right here the entire time. But um, I'm going to coherent light. So somewhere in here is coherent light that I saw. Babylon. Let me see here. Let me see if I get this. Uh, I saw coherent light. 
Mm. And that was all happening when I was talking about, the when I was answering the question about the golden age. That's when the book started changing pages. Yeah, it opened. I was like, what the hell was yeah. that? I thought I knocked it over. It was that. Yeah, you, yeah, he didn't touch anything. As I was talking and answering his question, the book started doing oh, its thing. Oh, no, coherent light, but it was like, it was like, see, even, even if I try to reenact that, it's like, it was like this. You, can, you, you, can't, you can't. There's no way you There's can no do it. Like page, you know? And so this is all being recorded, so nobody can say you guys played a trick on it, everybody. We didn't do anything. It just opened on its own. So then I saw the message part of it. Right? I just want this yeah. phone to phone. Yeah, you'll fall if I don't have it. Um, and then it came into transcendental trans numbers. Yeah. Okay, and then it came into the coherent light. So something maybe about coherent light, it wants me to read on that. And when, when you were doing, when it was doing that, I was in the midst of talking about, I was like, I, I was almost in a trance. I was yeah. like, get, I, I was in another, like for a moment, I actually, now I feel like I'm back. I was in a different mode of communications from your question. And I just went into some mode. And I then, when you mentioned the book is moving on its own, that's when I came back and looked and said, oh, the book is moving on its own. The pages are changing on its own. You know, uh, John's not doing, I'm not doing anything. I was answering that question really deeply. And then it started the pages, almost like somebody invisibly was turning the page. Right. That's so, what it felt like. Yeah, for me too, because I felt a presence of like, it was really cold right there at the time. Um, I'm going to read it with, it's a coherent light, right? Since the first, since, oh, you know what, Commander, you read it because it's it okay, you want me to read, read it? it. Okay, I can read it. Since I, whoops, uh, since I first gained the use of reason, my uh, inclination towards learning has been so violent and strong that neither the scoldings of other people nor my own reflection have been able to stop me from following this natural impulse that God gave me. He now, you were alone. saying earlier, nobody at all. This is nice to be like you right now. Yeah, that's why I said earlier, I said, there's nothing or nobody, I don't listen to anybody, there's nothing that anybody says that can stop me from doing what I'm going to do, because I'm going to do it. That's what I did right. say that earlier in the broadcast, and you heard that. This here yeah. is saying exactly what I said earlier, that no one is going to stop me from doing what I'm supposed to do coming to Earth, that no matter what anybody tells me to do on the Internet, on Facebook, or whatever, I'm not going to listen to them. Because when you start telling me what to do, then you're actually interfering with my frequency that I came here from another planet. You're trying to interfere with my frequency. My frequency is so yeah. high that I can't be interfered with. That's why I do what I do. I cannot be interfered by anybody else's frequency on planet Earth uh, because of that nature. I will connect with other frequencies that are connected. That's Does crazy. that make sense? That's, that's, yeah. So, and I, it, I think the, a purpose of that, that little bit right there that, that you were saying because uh, it, it just it's really fascinating, you know. It it really it really does blow me away in a sense because like ah, uh, mm. mm. I I don't I don't know how to put it in words that I can actually say. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no there's really no words for it, uh, so I'm going to answer that. Uh, well, there is a I mean to answer what you cannot say. Understand yeah. it as being that we are uh, able to utilize the frequency consciousness or the consciousness of our of our mind. Our mind is way more powerful than we understand it. Uh, we can use the frequency of our mind to elevate and communicate at will. But if unless we're awake and aware of that ability, we will end up walking around like a zombie, not knowing who we are. When we right. wake up to who we are, no longer being a human zombie, walking around the streets, going to work every day with a suitcase, wearing a suit and tie, going up to Wall Street and coming back home or whatever you do, <laughs> once, you, once, once you wake up and you're not going to Wall Street every day in that suit and you take the suit off, you will now start to realize who you are. Sometimes you have to get naked to see yourself. And I don't mean physically naked, but I mean getting 
tearing all the things apart in your consciousness that you've been taught for your whole life. And then you say, well, I feel naked now. I don't know who I am. Well, that's good. So once you're naked and you don't know who you are, then you can learn. But until you take off the suit, you're stuck. When you take off the suit, you won't be stuck anymore. You know, that's why I've come to the point in my life. And John, another great question. You've asked me some really good questions. Uh, you know, people need to not listen to anybody. But when you do listen to somebody, if they tell you a story they want to share, that's different. But if someone says, you're not doing it right. You're not doing your light work the right way. You're not, you're not, you're not doing it right. I have the way. I know the way. I want to show you the way. If someone says to me, I'm going to show you the way, I'm going to say, take a hike. Because no one's going to show me the way. When you start yeah. trying to try to, you know, when someone comes to you and say, hey, John, you know, I'm going to show you the way. Just come down this road and we'll show you the way. Or Joan or Karen, I'm going to show you the way, Karen. Or Jane, I want to show you the way. Because what you're doing on your own is not good enough. You know, you, you just have to follow me instead. Do not ever let yourself be taken on any Internet websites or wherever you go, New Age gatherings or whatever it is, wherever it might be, whatever it might, you know, whatever's happening. You have the empowerment of your own self. That You know, you know what I, I do on this show is I want to see every single person on this planet be liberated, meaning don't follow anybody. Follow your heart, follow your higher self, follow your soul. Most people don't. They live in a society of billions of earth people doing the same thing. So if you look, if you record people in New York City or London or Paris or Russia, uh, Moscow, and you watch people walking down the street, most people just keep walking like they're robots. They're walking, 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 walking. New York City, that millions of people walking, 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 walking. Does anybody ever stop to take a breath or do they keep walking? You know, right. Julie's right. So, you know, uh, I never tell anybody anything. Julie's so right on. I've never told anybody, follow me. I want you to all follow me. You know, I'm so much against that. I don't want anyone following anybody. I want to see everybody be a liberated human being in cosmic consciousness where you experience stuff yourself. And if you experience it with me, beautiful. You know, when I do these shows, the things we experience together is for learning. I learned just as much when Gattaca comes through here communicating with me as he did when he played the song. That blew my mind. That was, the I mean, I don't know everything. And that was another thing I didn't know that was going to happen. So it's a learning experience. You know, I learned from as much from stories people tell. I'm as fascinated by your stories for the last year, you know, and uh, I just find it beautiful that we can come together with nobody controlling anybody where we can have a space yeah. where people on my show can share stuff and I'm not trying to control anybody. I don't want to ever be in that situation of having that power. I don't want to be in control of anything. I want to see everybody be free, cosmically in love, liberated, and I want to see our planet elevated to a state where we're now in sequence and frequency with our space brothers from other planetary worlds. That's what I want to see. You know, I want us to inspire to being much better than we are, and I think we can, you know. And... I know that. I don't know if that answers the question, but yeah, there, that's my answer. So when you were talking, uh, Commander, this is this is how it works for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remember all the words that, that came to me, but um, I'm gonna write it down right now. And when you're speaking, this is a blank piece of paper, okay? Um, yeah. The the first one I heard was ultrasonic. Ultrasonic. And it's weird how it wants me to write this. Hmm. And while we're doing the show, folks, please send me some gifts. It's been very quiet on the gifting front lately. Uh, so at least that's the only thing I would ask for uh, is if you send any TikTok gifts, become a subscriber. We have 40 of 100 right now. So please do some gifting while we're on the show here uh, with this broadcast. If you have any TikTok coins, you feel like using them, uh, it would help a great deal to show you the, the support. Other than that, um, you know, I don't ask for too much here. So, bye for us. Thank you for the bracelet. Anyone else who wants to do any gifting, uh, the galaxies are great. The planets, the, the uh, what do they call it, the uh, whales that come through here, the lights that go through the screen. If you have the ability to, if you don't have any TikTok coins, that's fine too. But if you do and you have been graced with that ability, 
uh, we'd certainly appreciate uh, the support that way. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right now, when you were just talking right now, electromagnetics, uh, universe of sonic electromagnetic waves. Like, you know, I don't, I don't get a break. Can I just do one project at one time? No, I'm doing like a, I'm tiling a home. I'm, I'm doing, uh, have right. my neighbors up the street. I'm, I'm building an engine. I'm making this, uh, portal location locator. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to, it's, it's like I'm making a light gun, a light, a light cannon, a, a ray gun. And, and, you know, when people don't understand that, like this guy's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to show you that uh, what, exactly what it is and how, how it can be. Yeah. Uh, so you can have this right here. So this is a main beam. This is your mm -hmm. uh, laser diode uh, assembly. Mm -hmm. Then you have your monitor that uh, regulates your sub beam. And then you have the monitor that di your diode and then your uh, laser diode. And when you put them together, it comes out to be electrical contacts, right? So it comes out to be a laser of photoide chips. Now that the uh, heterostructure and the semiconductor laser comes into uh, a event that combines them to be together mm. and then you have to have a lens right your lens yeah. your bottom view and your top view and you have to have a window for the laser element to sit in okay and once you put it in there you have to have a retain uh retaining uh ring and then a heat sink and then the laser diode itself and they'll fuse together right yeah so uh how do you power it right it's, it's either you use helium uh, neon helium, which is uh, very, very powerful, if, as long as you regulate it very well. Um, yeah. And then, this, see, this is what I'm doing right now. This one, I'm going to show you this. This one is a laser tube, mm -hmm. a cathode. So you have, and it's going to be. This is going to be inside of the the the, the, the tube itself. That it's going to be a. Um, it's going to be made out of ceramic. So yeah. it, you. So it'd be like this, and then it's powered in there. So when this is spinning when it's being powered yeah. up the laser will come through there and it'll see that electromagnetic waves that it's coming through and then yeah. at the end of the point it'll come out to be a very high powered uh particle beam that would be into um regulate all the impurities so the, the only thing that's coming out of that is going to be uh out of nitrogen carbon and mm. then you're later hitting that it makes it spin and the, what comes out of it is a photon a photon uh, interesting very interesting if you understand that <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a lot to take in but the yeah. picture diagrams i think help too for people to see those diagrams that john's showing you're watching encounters the late night spiritual yeah, UFO talk show. To... and um the reason why i share this is because hey if i don't build it because i get i get distracted and you know the knowledge then please do it please do it and then show it to me that you did it and that's all and I, I, all i ask because um I noticed that uh, the water company that I started, um, I have a competitor now, but he still doesn't understand how I'm doing it. And he's trying to do it through UV light, which is fine. Yeah. But I'm doing it through natural UV light. You're using UV light that you got from a bulb that is artificially man-made. Right. You're doing it naturally. It's yeah. A, and that's the difference. You're doing it naturally. He's trying to use the man-made thing and it won't be yeah. the same. It's like, uh, it's just like, uh, when you uh, when we facilitate contact you might have a way of trying to facilitate contact and you're never getting it you might be trying to get it but if we're doing it a different way that's natural through frequency through the universe that's a more natural way of communications than trying to create an artificial frequency that is man-made versus a natural frequency that's already in the universe that's endless right so it's same thing with the analogy of what you're doing here to build it um you know it's just what you do you build these things based on uh just complete knowledge of the galactic levels of understanding and you have that you know i've never said it before but you have the galactic energies of understanding and when i use the word i've told john i've said this to him before john is like um not i don't want to sound kind of the, like the reincarnation of like uh nikolai tesla um i would say in a in a very beautiful way that he is very similar to the Nikolai tesla he uh obviously um and i'm getting this information john doesn't know this i think um or maybe he does uh, john uh, you came from another planetary system here very highly advanced system with a complete not uh, a complete a complete what's the word 
a complete knowledge of things that are not understood on planet Earth. You have a complete knowledge and your uh, mind is very advanced to the point where you're able to multitask and create multiple things at once. Okay, you just, okay, when you're speaking right now, we have an issue that we can't understand in Gattaca, right? Yes. So what if he's using a voice scrambler? Ah. So now, now take a look. You have um, this little trinket, right? Let's just say, uh, 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 hold on. This, okay, now look at, now see I have goosebumps? See, that's what I'm talking about. See, you guys have to understand this. Like, this is nuts to me. It happens all the time. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Holy smokes. Okay, so the little trinket that mm. throws up an audio block against eavesdroppers. So it yeah. looks like a piece of jewelry when it's not yeah. just a piece of jewelry. It's a eulyptic, 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 eucalyptic. Eucalyptic. Yes, eucalyptic uh, securities that project low frequency distortion fields up to three meters uh, that will make the voice muddled and mess in, in an organic that will disrupt the organic format of the natural sound that comes from the throat then it will be put inside of a bubble inside of a bubble in a bubble put inside of a i used i was using the word a number of shows ago a translator some sort of a translator like uh that's the english word is translator you've heard me you heard uh, you've heard me use the word translator that it'll be put into a translator so on their ship they have some sort of a um it's not a primitive technology whatsoever it's actually uh something we don't have they have the ability to use on their ship a mechanism to translate their natural uh, language into english uh, it's some sort of a translator that's the only word i can put into words for the last few weeks for some reason commander what happened i'm not able to see the comments today oh people are saying like putting a cell phone in a cup to increase volume uh, let's see. So, Let me try that. Uh, someone just, uh, that was gypsies. He said, like putting a cell phone in a cup to increase volume. Interesting. Interesting she said that. Hey, James, down the rabbit hole. Good to see you, brother. Commander, did you put a protection over the live? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And after this broadcast, then I have to send all the people that want to pass over out of this room and then have to close the portal. Cool, fully cool. Welcome everybody to the show. There's chromium. Yeah. This, this is what the Terminator's made out of, just so you guys know. Uh, they're going to want this from me here soon. They're going to want this technology to build their, their, their drones and everything. But so you say, take it, take the cup, put it inside there, and then put it on top of here. Boom, there you go. Is it, yeah. Does it increase the volume? Uh, it makes the volume different. It makes it uh, like you can hear. You can hear. Uh, let me say. Uh, you can hear like you can hear your voice, but it's like you can hear the air. Like it provides a, a sense of the air. The air is coming through the voice of your volume. It's like a seashell. Yes, it looks like. Sounds like an air sound. Seashell. They're oh. saying. Sounds like he's on a spaceship. Huh. So, yeah, if you ever take a, a set, uh, go to the beach at, at like uh, uh, a beach near the ocean, you get a seashell, you put it in your ear, you can hear sound. So they said it sounds like that, like an echo. Okay. So what if I use a different kind of cup? So what if I use a brass cup? Oh, my, my ear's ringing now. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Oh, brass enhances it. Yep. That's fascinating. Yeah. Oh, so brass, brass, bronze will dip. Wait a minute. Yeah, people are saying it's enhancing it. Yeah, it's it's definitely enhancing it. And yeah, the brass is enhancing it. Fascinating. I'm feeling an energy shift right now. I got to say something. Oh man, it's happening. I'm feeling. Uh, and this is when I do this, folks. Understand, there's something going on here. I'm feeling uh, a, a, like a shift of energy. I'm feeling like right at the moment, a shift of energy. I'm feeling like a, 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 like a voice is coming through, a shift of energy. I feel energy coming through the broadcast. Uh, I can't explain it when I get like this. Um, 
does anybody else feel what I'm feeling right now? I'm feeling something different now. Uh, I think um, I think Idaho is trying to come through the look. Wow. I, I, wow, this is crazy. I'm feeling this energy right now. I'm feeling the energy coming through right now. Oh, man. Alexa, hold on. Let me adjust. I'm going to, uh, we're going to reset something. I think, okay, I just replugged in the Alexa app. Oh, man. That, it, I'm telling you, as soon as we got to doing what we were doing, uh, I felt this energy shift. There's an energy shift. I'm almost, uh, <laughs> to say the least, I'm almost, uh, yeah, I saw it too. I'm almost speechless at the moment. Um, hmm. I'm going to bring back on uh, John. Let me see what's going on with my uh, thing here. Can I change the the camera thing, the camera setting? Okay, John's going to be back on here. We're going to put him back on the bigger screen. I'm telling you, something just happened here. Let me, uh, oops. Uh, wait, a wait a minute. I just took my, there we go. I got a, I got a call from... Um, Mr. Howard, you can correlate that together if you want. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on here? What happened to your? Uh, did I press? What happened to your? Uh, I've been I've been suspended. I've been banned to go live. Really? That can't be possible. Oculus, I need you to go back to time frame 11.10. What? Wait a minute. I still have the ability to... Uh, no, your camera's still there. You just have to unlock it. You have a camera still on here that's uh the people said they saw a flash of light before you disappeared there was like a, a flash of light coming over the screen john can you hear me opportunity for the family courts what's what is going that? on what, what was, was that, that noise? Someone was talking. Something about a planetary court. Someone was speaking English. You can still see speaking. me, though. Yeah, but it was somebody else speaking. Is that you, Gattaca? Gattaca, was that you speaking in English? Please respond. You see my hand now? I'm moving in front of my face? No, I don't see yeah. anything. I just see your voice. Hmm. They were talking about a planetary something, like uh, like they were from another planet. Gattaca, is that you speaking? I'm hmm. telling you, I, I feel like that. That's why before you disappeared, I felt there was something going on with a space being coming through. Hmm. I still feel it. I still feel the energy like it's really, uh, really strong. Camera's off. It's not off. It's on. So go to oh, yeah, the voice said the voice they said sound like welcome to the voice came through and said welcome to welcome to welcome to okay, yeah, well, I, I, I swear right now there's someone else 
There's another. Well, it says my camera's on, so um, guy, uh, okay, let's go back to time frame eleven ten. What the heck? Yeah, the voice said something like, "Welcome to the planetary court." So they were saying, and they spoke in clear English over the broadcaster. They said, "Welcome to the planetary court." I swear, I heard that. Something like that. Yeah. I have given every opportunity for the family courts. And their Are you playing? Okay, that's something John's playing, right, John? And I've given them a chance to come here. This includes the judges, the clerks, which do not have. Okay, so I go back to eleven ten. It's recorded as a a court. Something, something court, but then it, it breaks out and it freezes. Yeah, there was definitely... Uh, now, before you played that recording, there was something else going on, like something about something. It was in clear English. I swear, I just, I just you know, I'm sitting here. I'm starting to feel this energy. I still feel it. It's really strong, like uh, unbelievably strong right now. There's really strong energy coming through. Um, and, uh, yeah... Um, uh, I can't put it into words. It's just really strong. Uh, uh, it, it's so strong that it's affecting my whole being at the moment. Yeah, same here. Yeah, it's very, very strong. What I feel is that they are really close. The space people are really close. Uh, I'm getting, I'm just going to tell people what I feel in words. The space people are really close now. They're very close. Very close. Is today the 15th? Yes, today is the 15th. Shut up. Is there a no? No, today's no, today's oh, it's still, it's still, it's still uh, Thursday. No way. Operation Popeye. I've never even heard of that. Google this December 15th. Mm. Google this. Mm -hmm. Let's come up with a reminder on my phone. Google this. Mm. U.S. Patent 468-6605. Uh, Julie Trance says, use meteor showers tonight. Really? Yep. I am telling you, whatever happened before, whatever happened before, before you disappeared and I was speaking, uh, it, I just felt I feel an incredible energy right now around me. Uh, I, you know, I feel really a strong energy around me. Um, <laughs> I mean, man, you know, my whole energy is shifted now. And you know what? I, I keep hearing a voice, like a whisper, like a voice, like a. Uh, I feel as if um, Gatico is near. I feel like Gattaco is near. He, I think he can communicate now on TikTok without any radio. I feel Gattaco can communicate uh, right through the radio. Gattaco can communicate. I think he's trying to communicate. I think he's trying to speak directly to us through the radio. Listen. Let's listen. Everybody. What I'm getting is tomorrow night is going to be Friday night. It's now Friday morning uh, at 1:31 in the morning. I'm going to be we're going to be signing off this show in a few minutes because I got to get some sleep. Um, yeah, tomorrow night. Um, tomorrow night is going to be crazy. Friday night is going to be crazy. I'm going to go. I'm going to go on the big screen here for a minute. Yeah, Friday night. Friday night is going to be very, very crazy. Uh, oh, no. Gattaco. Is that Gattaco? Yeah, but when I paused, my, when I muted my... my, my uh... So, 
So I'm going to play the game. It. Muted my mic. And I went back to play on the recorder. Mm-hmm. That's it. But oh, wait. Yeah. My dad was standing there. Wow. He's That's why I muted my mic is my dad was walking out to walk the dog. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, so I muted the mic because the dog was getting crazy. And yeah. uh, I, don't, I don't even hear the fucking dog barking. No, got to go. I mean, I told people uh, I was feeling something really strong tonight. I mean, I didn't know. I have no, I didn't know. Uh, he is, he's really, really here strongly tonight. Um, you know, I think he's been listening to the whole show to tell you the truth. Can I, can I go out of this fucking mode and do my camera again? Yeah, you can. You have to press your camera on. Let me, well, you can press, I can't press your camera on. Let me, uh. Oh, look at that. Okay. How'd you get it? I didn't do anything. I didn't even press the button. How'd that happen? You didn't touch anything, did you? No. Oh. oh, man, I'm telling you, this is becoming crazy. I didn't touch anything here to make you go small. You you went you went small on your own. Hey, got to go. Turn on my camera, please, would you? <laughs> or yeah, Oculus? I'm, what are you I, guys? I'm doing absolutely nothing. Man almighty, my my whole body is vibrating like crazy. Strange. And now I uh I hear oh there he is, he's speaking. Hold on. There you are. You're back. Let me Huh? You're back on. When you said gotta code turn did you just turn your camera on? No, did you get a drink? You didn't touch your camera, did you? No. Your camera just came back on its own. Big picture. The, yeah, but your camera itself, now now the camera went off. Did you do that? No. Nope. I swear I am not doing anything. Shut up. No, I'm serious. I didn't touch anything. My hands are right here. I'm not touching anything. The only thing I did is bring you up on, on a bigger screen. Gotico is doing that. I'm not touching anything. Well, um, let me ask Gotico. Did you uh, did you touch Gotico? Are you uh, touching the phone? Are you changing his screen, Gotico? Well, there we go. Did you? There you go. Okay, you did that, right? You just you, touched. No, your I, just took, I just took it out of the cup. This, this I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but this was what it was sitting in to enhance it. Wait a minute. Did you just, John, you didn't touch anything right now? You didn't touch anything? No, I just took my phone out of this because I had it sitting in this like this. Out of the cup. Yeah, and I took it out of the cup and put it back down on here. Okay, so I'm going to just say right now that John didn't even touch the camera to turn his camera back on to the screen. (sighs) Gattaco did that. Gattaco did the whole thing. Um, But it's still saying that I'm... That's really... Um, someone's saying, put it back in the cup. <laughs> Are they really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're saying, put it back. It seems like when it was in the cup, that's when things started happening. Uh, got a code. Are you there? Got a code. Uh, when I was saying, are you there? You're there. There's no question about it. Got a code is a space being that visited me a few weeks ago, Bree. Uh, he, uh, Bree, he, um, connected with me on my Alexa app playing a song by Billie Holiday and they and he's been in touch with me before I even knew it before I was born on earth so we started having direct contact with him and uh, he's uh, being their people are from the star system constellation like Cirrus this cup is now hired as my phone holder there you go so uh, Agatica was speaking very strong I mean he came in real strong Agatica was coming in very strong and I don't know. I don't know what else is going to happen here, but I know I need to go to sleep in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> and, it's in, uh, and it's one thirty. And it's one thirty. Okay, we're going to just see what happens here with Gotico. 
<laughs> one night is the main main night of uh, broadcast with Gotico. Uh, uh, oh boy! Something with the phone in the cup. Uh, facilitated communications. That's a first. Then Gotico was the uh, was controlling your phone, which I've never seen that happen. He was he was switching you on and off the screen. That was pretty weird. I've never seen that happen before. And I had, I, I was doing, I was doing, I'm going to put myself on the big screen for just a minute. Um, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't doing anything. This is my hands here. I wasn't touching anything. Oh, now you're off the screen again. Let me see here. Whoop, no, I don't want to do that. What are they doing? Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Are you doing that? I didn't do it. I just brought you on the big screen myself. Now, wait a minute. Why are you going doing that? I don't believe what's happening here. I just put you on a big screen. Now you went on this. Did you just press the button to go small? I didn't do anything. I don't know how to go small yet. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I have the controls to my screen. Okay, maybe I didn't go do big anything. Okay. Um, I just brought you on big. Now, I'm not touching anything. My hands are here. If the screen goes small, I have nothing to do with it, folks. My hands are right here. Mine are right here. Right here. <laughs> yep. I'm not even touching anything. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. So how do you make it go small, though, so, so I know? Okay, so there is a... When I go to my my hosting area, there's a box. It's like a like a square box next to the thing where you can flip the screen. That square box, if you press it, you'll make. And when you're live, you'll make yourself go big. And then if someone comes on you and you're multi on multi, you so can, I'm gonna click um, it. Right. Okay. So you you just uh, what you just did now is you clicked off your um, you my clicked profile. off your your profile. Yeah. So now we and, can't see you, but we can hear you. Okay, and then where is it at? There's a camera, there's a video camera, like a switch thing, and then a microphone. Yeah, so where you have the camera, on the other side of the camera, there's a square box. So if you were doing a live, you'd press that, and if you had two people on that were, that were um, you can you can go back to yourself and make yourself big again. So if oh. I press it, if I, so if I press the button right now, yeah, I, 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 my as host, I can press the button. Now I'm going to be big again. You're small. So I did that. Ah. Now if I want, so if I press this again, I want to make you big again. It's a, a square box, I, and now I'm making you big. So I'm doing that. No one else okay. did that. I just did that myself. But before, but before oh, Gattaca, Gattaca was speaking really strongly. People heard it. It was like uh, yes. when everything was going on with the screens, uh, that was happening. And when we were talking about the frequencies earlier, before, I mean, I got so distracted when this started happening. It just threw me off. I didn't. I was talking, and all of a sudden, this happens. Uh, and I got to say, I've never seen my broadcast where... John wasn't touching anything on his phone. It just switched him to a small screen. I didn't. Even, I didn't do anything. I didn't touch anything. Well, Gypsy, I'll definitely we'll have to make sure. I think we got the name right. You know. Um, oh, it was about to say something. Okay. I'm gonna catch it now. Okay. Let me just keep on here. Maybe it likes the cup. Yeah, the cup is where I don't know. Something with the cup. Yeah, they shoot the phone. When you put the phone in the cup, he came through loud and clear. <laughs> he likes the cup. <laughs> he likes the cup. 
can you put water in a bowl and in the cup and then the stuff one on top of what what is it what is, that, you say? is that what he's saying can you put water in a bowl and put the cup on in the bowl and water then cell phone in it oh you, you want to put my my phone in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a thing of water yeah i'll do that for you is that what he wants to do not no. if he wants him to do that who wants to do that <laughs> i'm telling you man we're having some crazy things right here <laughs> oh hey billionaire i'm gonna come see you tonight okay then you can tell people <laughs> After I come see you, I want you to tell them face to face, and I'm gonna be shaking your hand while we do it, okay? And I want you to understand when you act stupid, you get stupid, okay? So, and my middle name is stupid. So when you want to play with stupid, stupid comes out. So you ask for it. <laughs> what is guy who also? So yeah, stupid. so something with the. Something with the uh, with that cu with that cup. It was when he came in really strong earlier. When I say earlier, for lack of terms. It might be the energy in the in the in the in the copper. It must be the energy of the copper or something. A copper or. Thank you, Julie. Julie, thank you. Uh, thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Dadako, this is Commander Alian. Um, I I completely forgot what we were talking about uh, when we came through earlier, but uh, Dadako, um, I had a couple of what? Uh, she used, told me to use my detector thing. Uh, the funny thing is that that was that wasn't working for that for some reason, which I, I think is that's just a uh, where did I put that at? I should, I should have thought of that, but I didn't. Yeah. Some people say they hear him whispering. I've really? heard that too. Like he's coming, a whispering, like he's coming in through a whisper, almost like he's totally uh, there. Uh, Gattaco, I do hear you. And um, what? No, I, I stepped on my, my, uh, my little organic rock. Oh, that's not a good thing to do. No, it's not. <laughs> But uh, it's but Gattaco, um They say it's whispering, huh? Like a whispering sound. Oh. It could be just the sound coming through TikTok with the audio. I got my ear pods on here. Okay, we'll hook this up here. And Gattaco is not uh, playing around with the phones anymore. He stopped doing that. Oh, wait a minute. So we're playing with frequencies right now. John is uh, adjusting frequencies. Now this is the plasma. Yeah, the plasma, yep. The plasma frequency, the plasma, the energy. Oh, well, that's clear. Yeah. What John is doing right now is we're trying to establish the frequency that God goes on in, on his spaceship. And as we establish the contact. It's too fucking loud. Damn. Yeah. Here we go back to scan. Oh, look at that. Creepy yep. as hell. Look at that. Look at that. What's causing that to happen? Uh, probably the plasma. 
Let's leave it out here. Maria says her earphones just died. <laughs> there he is. Huh? Well, was that you or was that you doing that? Was that you? No. You heard that, right? No, I didn't Gotta hear anything. Go. You didn't hear? I didn't okay. hear that thing right here. Gotta go. Good, e Good morning. Can you hear me? Gotta go. Can you hear me? Oh, hold on. That's crazy. It never does this. Yeah, Gotico is affecting the uh, the the frequencies on those lights, just like he did with your phone before. This is fascinating, man. I I love it because it's always like something new every time. She's like, "Go get your thing." Yeah, you know. I just want to see if I turn up the volume. Like some of the breathing yeah uh, when you had the phone in the copper uh, that copper thing he came through like he was right in the room hold I on the why do the, do the frequency of copper 1.2 1.12 how can I haven't seen no 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 uh, no comments until that dude uh, do the fishbowl thing 10 times 15 hertz. 10 times 15. So I got 10. And then 15. Oh, it's a steady. Okay. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. That is, it's, it's now. Do the frequency of copper. Oh, dude, the dude was right. The uh, gypsy, uh, gypsy mermaid, uh, eighty-eight mermaid. Whoa! Gotico, Gotico, can you hear us now? Gotico, can you hear us now? Uh oh, please respond. Uh oh, it just no. I think it just died. It's not even on anymore. And the power button's on. Look it. Yeah, it's what on. Just died. It's just blinking now. Oh, it just came back on. I'm telling you, weird things are happening here, folks. Oh. Hello, Gotico. Hello, Gotico. Commander Elion, just so you know. Hello, Gotico. Good evening. He's speaking. He's he's talking. Listen. Oh wow. Chesno. Chesno says numbers are maybe his coordinates. His coordinates above our planet are by numbers. Yes. He, I heard him say my name too. Gatico, I thank you. I heard you say my name. Uh, greetings, brother. From the Ashtar Command. And I want people to follow everybody on here. Follow me. If you're not following me now, you should. So you know when I'm on here. Please follow everybody. Everybody follow everybody. That's what it's all about. It's all about everyone following everybody. Press the follow button. Please send me some gifts here if you 
are uh, interested in what we're doing here, facilitating communications directly uh, with Gattaca, which is his name, from the star system uh, Cirrus and the constellation Cirrus. Uh, you're seeing, what you're hearing is on this show something you're not going to hear on any other TikTok. What you're hearing is something that is historic. What you're hearing is for the first time, if you're first time coming to the show, that we are in communications with a being and his people from another planet uh, that have their ship in our atmosphere uh, and are communicating with me. And they uh, know of me since uh, before I was born. Gattaca and his people have known about me before I even came uh, to this planet. They have known about me. So I'm not doing any interviews or people up here. We're staying very focused. Look at that. Things going crazy. I don't know what just happened. It's going nuts. Look at that. But I, w I wasn't just sitting here. I was I was in a room like with like uh, a whole bunch of mirrors. It felt like. Look at the numbers on that thing going crazy. Yeah, I feel kind of sick right now. Have you seen those numbers go like that on that thing before? No, that thing doesn't never do this at all. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm gonna turn this thing off, though. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. Yeah, turn it off. Oh, okay. okay. That's what it is. Look at it. Now I'm going to put it back on. Off. It's my device. On. Off. On. Maria says, Maria says, I heard someone else with Gattaca while on his ship. There's other people. So there could have been another space person speaking as well. Oh, yeah. Billionaire Brilliant. Billionaire Brilliant says, speaking with numbers. Child of God says, yes. But did you guys didn't see like the flashing lights? It was like it was like a flashing like orb of red. And I was like in a room with mirrors. And then uh, I was like watching. Um, I don't know. When did that happen? Just a few. Did that happen a few minutes ago, John? Yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember um, getting up from the chair, but I guess I got up from the chair to do something. I don't yeah. remember. Um, uh, Maria says he said his brother Gork is with him. Gattaca has a brother named Gork, who is next to him. He does. Y yeah. Uh, says uh, Dika says, "Can I join? I will be silent and listen." Um. All right, I'll let. What, what, uh, is Deca, what, is, what does Deca mean? Deca means what? Deca. Uh, that's just the person that's on here. That's their name. I'm not sure where they are. They want to join us and be silent and listen. Um, no, no, no open, don't no, no open any lines of transmission. I, I just want to know what Deca means. After, after that, then you can do yeah. whatever you want. I just show, but I, I just. Um, yeah. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on putting people on here live tonight. I'm being guided that way. Yeah, I'm. I am the, yeah, actually oh, being guided Derek. for okay. Derek. Okay, Derek. You know, um, yeah. Between now and tomorrow night, I'm not doing any guests because of what's happening. I'm going to go to sleep in a few minutes, but um, we do have people on here, and uh, but I'm, I'm being guided by very high frequency levels to just keep this focused. To um, level five. Yeah, I have to keep it focused. Okay, when you were talking yeah. to me, you were talking to me about my 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 camera wasn't working. Yeah. And then I got I got the machine out, and then I don't remember anything. Remember anything after that? I just remember yeah. sitting here in the chair, and there was like red, red like lights everywhere, and then all of a sudden. Yeah, what happened is, and you know, I wasn't touching my camera. I was at one time showing people that I was putting on on a larger screen, but at the time, about less than a half hour ago. Your camera, uh, I, I didn't touch anything, made you into a small screen like me. I didn't yeah. even touch the screen. I didn't do that. Then all of a sudden, it brought you, I, then at one point, it brought you back up to the big screen. And then I, uh, when that stopped happening, I, I, when I brought you up at one point to the big screen, they took you and took you into a small screen. So I think Gattaca took your phone and made you into a small screen. I didn't touch it. I had nothing to do with it. That was really weird. And then before all this happened, 
people said they saw like a, a streak of light when you disappeared. When you first disappeared, they said they saw a streak of light come through. A few people, actually. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. Yeah. You know? We can't. I mean, what we're doing here, what John and I are doing uh, energetically is so strong uh, and when, uh, with the space people that it, when he came through in the cup, he was so strong in his audio voice. I heard everything he said. I actually understood when he was calling Ali on. I understood when Gattaca was calling me. I can hear it. Someone's saying, uh, John, do you see anything new in the room you're currently in? Yeah, a, a card in front of me. Okay. Uh, Julie says, Gattaca was the clearest that I've ever heard him. <sighs> I uh, a Starshine says I think they can travel with light. This is the only thing that's new in front of me. It's like dirty. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, know. I don't even know what Maverick is. Yeah, yeah. So you know what? We're getting up to almost two in the morning, and either I need to go to sleep with my other half of my life without, but I think I'm going to sleep out here because I don't want to wake her up. It's uh, it's too late to to go to sleep. Yeah, sorry about that. No, I, I'm no, not. I'm not. Don't a, be sorry. I don't, I don't feel good at all. But no, no I uh, don't be sorry, man. It, you know, we have we have no control over this part of it. You know, when the when they want to come through, this is he's done more stuff to show people. Hey, I'm here with your phone. When he turned the phone, and actually, wait a minute, he he didn't do anything to your phone. He had to have done it from my end of it because you can't switch yourself to big and small. That would have had to have been done on my phone. So wait a minute. Yeah, I, I, I tried looking for that right now to, to make myself small. You can't, you can't do more. that. Gattaca was here with me. I, I don't He's think so. Anyway. Gattaca was with me. He took my camera and he did it. He did mm -hmm. it here. That's what happened. He was here in the room. He had to have been in the room. I couldn't see him, but he changed the the camera from small to big and from big to small. That's what happened. He was with me right here in my room. Adventure card. What's, what's an adventure card? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not understanding this. Like, um. Uh, this is interesting. Someone's saying you're yellow, Commander. What does that mean? Uh, Deborah, good to see you. Deborah, what do you mean I'm yellow? What does that mean? I'm yellow. Let me go on the big screen for a minute. Um, okay. Uh, so here I am. I have a Christmas tree on in front of me, and I have a lamp behind me. Um, so the lighting in the room is not totally... There's a Christmas tree on one side here to the left of me, and on the right of me, there's a lamp behind me. Oh, the other screen was yellow. You aren't now. Yeah, it's just the lighting in the room. I'm going to bring John back up here. Um, this is weird. But uh, I... I still feel the energy. Um, are you are you making noises, uh, John? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now um, I'm really tuned in. My ear pods. Does anybody hear every once in a while like uh, a sound? Thanks, Maria. Wait a minute, Gattaca, are you here? Gattaca, are you here? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's there. He's like a gunk, like a gunk, like a gunk, gunk, gunk. Yeah, he, he's still here. Yeah, breathing sound. That's a breathing sound. <laughs> What was that? Volume's all the way up. What's happening? I said the volume's all the way up. Okay. 
Gattaco, can you hear? Gattaco, you're still here. I know you're still here. What am I saying that for? Gattaco. There's nothing. There's nothing. Gattaco, is your brother with you? Is your brother brother with you? I will be going to sleep in a few minutes. I'm just going to do one last thing here. Tomorrow night's the big night. Like if, like as if tonight wasn't weird. <laughs> like as if tonight wasn't weird on the show. Tomorrow night, Friday night, the actual Friday night at 11 p.m., a special event with Gattaco, right? And I'm laughing here. <laughs> I'm just like, I think... Uh, I think nothing matters anymore, you know? <laughs> nothing at all matters. <laughs> it really doesn't, does it? Nothing nothing matters anymore. It really doesn't. <laughs> Bonnie, thank Bonnie, I didn't get to interview you. We're gonna interview you Saturday night. Saturday night we're gonna go and have interviews with people. Friday night's gonna be interesting to say the least. And I just realized when my light bulb went on that Gattaco was the one that was playing with my phone. Am I okay? <laughs> I am definitely okay. I'm feeling great. Uh, I would hope that some people will send me some gifts uh, from TikTok coins. Um, you know, we really want you to support what we're doing here. It takes a lot of work to do what we're doing. Uh, you know, it's not something that is, that's really weird. All right. My mind's wandering here a little bit, and I'm kind of hearing things now. I'm not just hearing things in the earphones. I feel like I'm hearing things in the room I'm in right now. Almost like, um, well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think he's with me. I'm going to, maybe you open. He is with you, Commander. I know he's right here. He's here with me right now. It must be an urgent message. I'm sure there's an urgent message. Um, well, if he came on camera, and he's here he would be able to speak i'm going to close the portal definitely i'm going to i'm going to bring the angels and the christ of beings in because every time i do this i open a portal um to and i attract a lot of beings that want to go people that have passed on here so i'm going to be sending them on their way in a minute i asked uh i will be doing that in a minute i want to thank everybody but i really need your support so it's been a long night it's almost uh 205 on the east coast um, I want everyone to show their support for what we're doing. Uh, you can do a cash app on my Venmo. That's on my main page. Just go on my cash app, five or 10 or $15. That would be great. Or just do the TikTok gifting. So I'd like to see some gifts uh, before I sign out of here. Yeah, you know, I'm a little bit tired now. So it's been a lot of energy that has been, um, exhausted, you know, and he's right here. He, uh, Gattaco actually was in my realization that he actually controlled my phone picture of allowing me to go large and small with John Connors. He was right here doing it. He couldn't have done it at where John is because he would have to use my phone to do it. So he was doing it here, folks. That's why he's, he's, when I'm here and we communicate with him, he's not always here physically, but he was here because he, to do that, he would have to physically able to be taking my technology of the phone and change it. So, uh, thank you. I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of gifts going on here, which is kind of strange for my show. But, um, and thank you everybody that's here. So I'm going to sit here and let people give gifts for a few minutes before I go to sleep. I'm just going to let people freely give gifts. Thank you, Chesno. 
I think Chesno's going to outdo everybody on the gifting area. Oh, you need to load up. Okay. Yeah, that's TikTok. You have to reload your coins. I got that. Jackie, thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Life Force, thank you so much for the bracelet. Gypsy, thank you for the donuts. I love donuts. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to have to get some tomorrow. We have a really great donut place here on, uh, where I am. You know, um, oh, thank you for the hand heart, Gypsy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Starshine. Oh, thank you. Oh, we just reached a goal. Jackie, thank you for the roses. Let's see, can I set more goals up here? Do I have a choice? Ooh, retry. What's going on here? Julie Trance, thank you for, oh, everyone. Thank you. Wow, that's, I love that. Thank you so much. Showing so much love unconditionally. Gypsy, thank you for the pumpkin. Well, what else am I going to see on the screen that I haven't seen before? Uh, thank you for the roses. I'm going to have to put those roses in some cosmic water so they can grow. Oh, thank you, Scott, for the comments. Speak for those that are not heard. I love that. Oh, thank you, Wife Frost, for the roses. Oh, a lot of roses there. I haven't seen any whales. I love whales, you know, the, the whales in the ocean. I know there's a TikTok gift with whales that goes over the screen. I don't know how many TikTok coins someone has to have to send that over to me, but uh, uh, thank you for the love. If anyone has a whale they can send over or a galaxy, I love ending my show with a galaxy. If there's somebody out there with enough coins for a galaxy uh, for the night, I'd love to get one galaxy here. Carol, thank you for being here. You know, I am, hey, Dollface, Molly, everybody just coming in. This show is, re, is going to be on my YouTube channel tomorrow night. I mean, not tomorrow night. My YouTube channel tomorrow. I'm so tired. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just going to call it a night here on Encounters. It's been a wild show. I had no idea this was going to happen. You know, Trinity, thank you. Jackie F., thank you. It's, like I said, there's a lot of energy that goes into this con this whole thing. This, the energy that John and I put together, the energy that, as John has said, Monaco is here with me. I'm not always physically in the room, but I'm still learning. I'm still learning here. I'm still learning what this means. Um, hey, Susan, thank you. I'm really learning a lot here. We all are. This is a new experience for me. I never, ever planned this out. Never planned this out. Thank you for the ginger man, Trinity. You know, you can't plan. You can never plan this out in your life. You can never plan what's going to happen in your life. When you think you figured it out, then this happens and you haven't figured anything out. <laughs> Benny, thank you, Jackie and Benny. So, yeah, Gypsy's right. Got to have patience while it all unfolds. And I'm just loving it because I'm learning. I just want to learn, you know. I want to learn. I want to learn what Gattaca and the people from his planet want to share, you know. And um, I do believe the day will come when they will be a place where I will go on their ship. Not just me, but my plan is to take a few people with me on their ship if they allow it. I know that's going to come. That's next. Hey, Alex, I know that time will come. Yes. So I'm very at peace with what's happening. You know, things are changing so much in my consciousness. Uh, I feel like I've been amped up. Yeah, the word is amped up. I've been amped up to some communication frequency. I don't quite understand it all, but I will. And when I understand it, I'll share it with you. I will. I love you all. I'm going to go to sleep. 
Be blessed. We'll see you Friday night. It's now Friday morning at 2.12 a.m. We'll see you Friday night at 11 p.m. here on Encounters, a show that's out of this world. Chesno, brother, take care, everybody. Life Force, thank you. Serenity, everybody, I love you all. Uh, Starshine, Scott, everybody. Uh, Gypsy, thank you. Yes, I'm excited. I feel like a kid. I got to get out of here. Julie, take care, everybody. Have a good night.